What's up guys, Drew with Profit Monsters. I'm here in Orlando at the Vintage Mobile Market. It's a Sunday, I've never been to one of these before, but a lot of the guys that I follow on Instagram that go to the bins around here and stuff, sell vintage tees. My goal today is to try to find something that I can flip for a profit and maybe find a personal, but I'd really like to find something, a vintage t-shirt that I can find here for maybe 20, 30, 40 bucks and flip it and double my money. So let's see if we can do that. The wrap tees, Tiger Woods, pretty cool. How you doing, man? What's up? You look familiar. Like a um, YouTuber, I have, I have, I have a small YouTube channel. Yeah, it's yeah, called it's, Profit Monsters. Yeah, actually, so, what's going on, Drew? But my name's Drew. Yeah. yeah. So, what's your name? Drew. Your name's Drew. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, buddy. Oh. You have a uh, Instagram. You want to shout out or anything? Uh, yeah. Second win. Second underscore win. Second win. Yes, sir. Okay. Cool. Second Appreciate win. You. Thank you very much. All right. I'm gonna check out your booth, man. Appreciate it, brother. You have questions? Let me know. Okay. Sounds good. Dude, I love shirts like this. Like the face on the the old rock or the young rock. Sega like licensing, 91, 92, Sonic yes. Spinball. This used to be my game. 110 bucks. So cool. Get a little action of what's going on here. People wheeling and dealing all day. I love to see it. Got a little $5 basket. No, yeah, it's huge, I feel. All right, we're at we're at the scammer booth now. The scammer booth. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, my dude? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Urban what's up? Rack Shop, dripped out vintage. What's hey. up, guys? What's up, guys? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? All right, guys, so I had to cut the music off because it was really loud and I would have gotten copy striked for this part, but I found this really cool Tampa Bay sh Buccaneers graphic t-shirt. He wanted 30 bucks for this, and so I thought that was a pretty good deal, but I kept looking and I found these vintage color block shorts that were in my size, and it's just always hot in Florida, so I wanted to get those for myself. I asked him if he'd take 40 for both, and he gladly accepted, so that was a nice little deal. I got 10 bucks off the Bucks shirt, and I think I can do pretty good selling that one. Things faded. Really? It's all yeah. Twilight Zone, Tower of Terror. Faded. Faded. It's one I don't have though. See? We get it. Character block. See how much I'll shirt. Money. Money. I'm like, why are my friends with you? I don't know how much it says. Um, I could do like 60 on it. 60? Do I get a discount for wearing a Tower of Terror shirt? Ah, that is a discount. On body? Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day, y'all. Come on, Hansers. Oh, so shark Yeah. that's pretty cool. What do you think? I think it'll fit. You think? I think so. I mean, I don't actually. I don't know. It is a little. It is a little close. Right, so what's the best we can do on it right now? It's sixty. Sixty? You want to take fifty for it? Shout out Joey Bada Bing. The Goofy shirt. How much you got on the Goofy shirt? Which Goofy is that? Oh, Shout out Fatal Thrifts, by the way. Let's Check them out on Instagram. That one I'll do for 25. 25 bucks? Yeah. Joey, should I get this for you for 25 bucks? That one's sick. I just sold this other Goofy one. Should've, we missed out. You know the one Goofy about bowling? The bowling? Yeah. No. Oh, nice. On the rare XXL. On yeah. The blue, yeah, that's the character fashions. Nice. Yeah. 
you don't see the XXL. Yeah, no way. And they, they all, all those tags, like that shirt shrinks because they're so old. Yeah, for sure. This is cool. Construction crew. Yeah. Is this all Disney over here? Uh, yeah, I got Disney there. And oh, here, snap. I got the Universal Disney movies, TVs. Nice, bro. That's cool. Disney store. All right, so he's got a whole rack of shirts right here, one for 15, two for 25. So I'm gonna try to find two shirts for $25 that I can probably flip for at least 50. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, let me grab you everything on the way. Oh. Vintage retro. He also sold me the goofy shirt that I got for uh, Joey a while back. So he did a good deal again. Yeah, man. Hook me up. Appreciate so let me get you a bag. All right, cool. Man, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm the guy that he got a lifetime supply of things from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're back still making yeah. sales daily off of that. Every day, bro. Still making sales daily. And yeah, you wouldn't even know some of that stuff is that valuable, bro. So yeah, man, just random stuff. Nothing too bangerish or rhyme or reason. It's like making a couple dollars. Yeah. Got a couple homies on the shout it out. Yeah, got someone over there already. Look at this look at this Bugs Bunny in the eyes. Yeah, they actually made that shirt after a portrait of me. Oh. Tripped out vintage right here. What's up everybody? <laughs> Alright, I found this Allen Iverson Sixers tank top. Elijah's hooking me up. He said, 10 bucks. I said, sold, baby. Let's go. He had a Mr. Potato Head, but it's gone now. All right, shout out Nav's Clone on Instagram. Thank you. He just walked up to the booth and he had these Disney shirts for me. He said, five bucks for both. I was like, what? So That's a steal. Five dollars. Five dollars? Can't say no to that. That's cheaper than Goodwill prices. All right, we're at Ben Drip's booth right here. Make sure you give him a follow on Instagram. You can see the carpet right there. All right, so unfortunately, I got copy striked for some music that was playing right here too. But here, I'm just going through this $5 rack that Brian Ben Dripped had at his booth. And uh, some of these shirts uh, were a little stained up, but I knew I could get it out with OxyClean. So it was well worth the $5 that I was going to be purchasing for. This vintage Walt Disney Studios sweatshirt on the Disney wear tag was really, really cool. For five bucks, I feel like I could definitely flip that for 25 or 30 all day, maybe even more. There was probably quite a few tees on this rack that I could have picked up as well for five bucks. I was trying to be conservative so I could get to all the booths. Found another Disney sweater right here with all the characters bright colors that should sell pretty well on depop and uh, here I've grabbed a Reebok windbreaker for five bucks that's an all-day price shout out this guy in the back right here I have no idea who you are but I'm glad you wanted to be part of the video so let's go winter's coming man I'm gonna stop up 
This little spot right here was also Brian's. He had a whole pile of shirts for $5 as well. I kind of went through most of it and didn't find a whole lot. I did manage to find this Winnie the Pooh shirt on a Disney store tag. I thought it was pretty cool, easy pickup. Not a ton of money to be made, but for five bucks, I could turn it into 20. All right, so we're getting ready to leave the Vintage Mobile Market, but it's like almost, it's once a month, I think, um, on Sunday afternoon. So if you're in Orlando, like look, it's right next to downtown Orlando. So pretty cool place, got some good deals. Matt. Had a good time, and so, uh, Great time. yeah, pretty cool stuff. All right, Matt finally copped something. He got a Barry Sanders jersey for how much? Three dollars. Three bucks, can't say, can't know it. that. Can't and then what was your Instagram name? HS underscore VTG. HS underscore VTG, make sure you give him a follow. He's at the, the market here with three dollar shirts on the ground here, so, and he's got some cool stuff. So, we gotta get out of here, because look at this rain, man. Sheesh. Oh. All right, so last stop of the day, I just grabbed a spirit jersey from that guy, Brian. Brian, really cool. Was it Brian or David? David, I think. David, Disney spirit jersey, cop for 20 bucks. Should probably be able to get 50 to 60, maybe more. I haven't looked it up. And then we'll just go over these quick. Winter's coming, vintage crewnecks for colleges, universities. Easy money. I paid $5 each for these right here. We got the Disney originals. A little stained up. I'll oxy clean it. Okay. I got this one, Walt Disney Studios. Really cool vintage sweater another disney crew neck sweater a little smaller but some girl will will love to have that some female got me a nice little reebok windbreaker well not for me but picked it up again five bucks shout out ben drip brian had a whole whole five dollar rack so marshall on the vintage fruit of the loom uh tag right there the heavy this is going to be an easy 39.99 for me so five bucks all day all right, then I got the Allen Iverson tank top from uh, Dripped Out Vintage. I don't know how much this will go for, but I thought it was really cool with the graphics, so, uh, and I paid 10 bucks for it. All right, then Nav hooked me up with the two Disney white tees, as you saw, pretty cool. Five bucks for both of them, not gonna say no to that. All right, it's starting to rain, so I gotta do this quick. We got a blue shirt, and then you saw, the, I think the six piece bundle. 60 bucks. I got the Mickey, the all over pr animal print. I just think these are dope. These do really good on Depop for me. I got the Einstein, Albert Einstein, vintage 1993. And then I got the mountain, the dragons. I thought that was really cool. Then the vintage Steelers shirt. And then the vintage New Orleans Saints shirts. NFL season, those shirts are going to pop off. And then getting close to the end here. I got these shorts for myself. I thought they were kind of cool. Just really nice color block shorts. Paid 20 for them, which is more than I would normally pay for something, but I wanted to support. And I also got the really cool Tampa Bay Bucks shirt right here. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, yeah, he's, Matt yep. Easy might be picking this up for me. We'll see. Yeah, 100%. I'll put it to the side for him. 100%. Then I did grab a Tower of Terror shirt for myself. It is one of the shirts that I'm missing for my collection. I paid 60 for it, but since I was missing it, I don't have this one. I had to cop it, and it was actually uh, Ben Drip's girlfriend. I forgot how to say her name, but it was earlier in the video. Make sure you go give them a follow. And then I got the Animal Kingdom. Joey, let me know if you want this, cop or drop, because I'm gonna resell it if you don't want it. He wants it. And then finally, I got this from Fatal Thrifts. Uh, this was a really cool Taz shirt, all over print, round one, and then round 12. So I got this and this. I paid 50 for both. And uh, so if Joey wants that for the 25, I'm gonna give it to him. But I think I'm gonna list this for like 80 bucks. 80 to 90 bucks, I think I can get since it's got a front and back print. Pretty crazy. Dated, single stitch all around. And then it's dated right here. 1993 right there, so pretty cool. Anyway, that's my trip to the vintage market. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found anything, from my haul that you want, hit me up and I'll give you a really good price on it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace money.